I've been carving a lot of signs lately, including this one I made last week for a client. When I finished last week for a client, I should say. And so I thought I'd try a different kind of sign this time. So I'm going to try and carve this welcome sign that I designed to be kind of like a scroll. And uh, in true timber new fashion, I'm going to make it out of a old piece of bed frame. So hopefully it works out well and uh, I very much hope you enjoy the video. Now I want to do a shout out to Keith and his channel called Rag and Bone Brown on YouTube. Uh, he recommended this Baco scraper, a little kind of carbide triangle thing on the end, and it's really, really good for taking off old finish and stuff. So, cheers, Keith. That works really well. If you want to buy one, you can head over to his channel page. I'll put a link down. I think he has a link to it in his description all the time. So. Hopefully uh, you'll be able to go over there and get it. So I've carved the letters on there, you can see, and uh, what I'm going to do now is stick these blocks here with glue on both sides and then uh, I'll carve those round to make them look like kind of a scroll rolls, if that makes sense. So that's the next thing.
So we've got to this stage so far. It's very close to being finished. I've just got to take a few more little bits off. But I did a little bit of a test because I don't just want to paint straight on there. I wanted to try something different. So I've got these pigments. One is raw sienna. Hopefully you can see that. And the other one is golden brown. And um, I got these online. They are John Penny Restoration Limited. That's what they're from. I think they're John Penny is the brand. And I tried it on this piece. This was just the golden brown, as it was on its own. And this one was a mixture of the raw sienna and the golden brown, which I much prefer. Uh, what I did is I used some alcohol, and I sort of uh, diluted the pigments, turned them into a kind of paint, and then painted them on there, and then wiped them off. So I'm going to be doing that to the whole thing. And then we're going to be painting the letters to make them stand out. Probably a, a white at the top, going down into a darker brownish gradient at the bottom, trying to make it fade down into that colour. Uh, but anyway, we'll see how it goes. This is yet another project that was completed live on my Twitch stream. You can see a bit of a clip now. <laughs> okay. Muk rook. Muk rook rook. Muk rook rook roguery. There. Muk rook rook roguery. Done. Did I lose this Check. And here's the final result. Finished it off with some spray varnish or spray lacquer, and uh, I put a couple of nails on the back so I can hang it up on the wall. And uh, I'll give you a look of what it looks like up there. I really hope you enjoyed that video. It's kind of cool what you can do with a piece of old bed frame, some old chisels, and some time and patience if you've got it. I actually have a class on Skillshare where I teach people how to carve letters using just straight chisels. There'll be a link to that down below. I also stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at twitch.tv forward slash timbrenew. We'd love to have you there. We chat about woodworking, life, streaming, all kinds of stuff. It would be great to have you there. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. 
share the video, and I will catch you again next time.